What is up my Moon Tribe? I'm Haley. Welcome back to Moon Tribe Tarot. This is going to be for the star sign of Scorpio from July 10th to the 15th of July 2020. So take what resonates and leave behind what does not. If you would like to book a personal reading with me where your messages will 100% correlate to your story because they are specifically for you in mind, you can find all the information how to reach me in a reading in the description box down below. Without any further ado, I've already gotten pulled your cards off camera for you, Scorpio, so let's get right into it. We got the Eight of Wands, the King of Wands, followed by Major Arcana, Justice Outcome. Holy shit. Good shit. So we got the Eight of Wands with the King of Wands. The Eight of Wands represents, and it's actually the fastest moving energy in the deck next to the um, the Knight of Wands and the King, the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Wands. But this is actually the fastest minor arcana moving energy. It represents something coming in. Some of you might think that it might be chaotically fast coming in, but it's going to be something that you don't expect. It's something that kind of comes out of nowhere. It's kind of this rapid, quick progression that comes into a situation that would probably be heralded in... I can't talk. We've had this problem last time. It would be heralded in. It would be brought in, motherfucker. It would be brought in by some sort of communication over seas or over air, which represents to me messages, email, letters, telephone calls, anything in that kind of manner. Um, this is old-fashioned, but it's kind of that kind of energy. And it's something that I feel like for a lot of you, I'm going to pull a card right now for clarity as to what this Eight of Wands is, because it leads you to extreme amount of feeling very successful. And it leads, the King of Wands is somebody that is a king. He understands what he's doing. High mental... Uh, High mental mindset would understand how to work, would be a leader, a father figure, somebody in some sort of emperor-like position that understands how to wield this. So what brings in the Eight of Wands, or rather, what is the Eight of Wands going to turn out to be? Oh my god, alright, <laughs> sorry, this is good. Okay, so it's, ooh, ooh, wow, look at this. So, this is a power couple, so for a lot of you... Uh, this just turned into a relationship reading. This is... Wow. Okay. So, there is some sort of news or some sort of communication coming to you from a from somebody that you would most likely be partnered to or that is another air... Um, if she would be a fire sign, Aries Leo Sagittarius, but you are showing up as also an Aries Leo Sagittarius. And she's the same thing as him, just more feminine. And she, she's also a leader, would be good at work, would be like um, a mother, a breadwinner. She is somebody that understands how to do leadership. Um, she would get very bored easily because she really likes to do everything all at once. And he's the same way, he's just more masculine. Um, but this is telling me that somebody is coming in for you. Um, and now, it, they're already, she's coming in as somebody that is already of her higher self, so I think that this is somebody that you already know or you're working with, um, but it's going to make you feel incredibly established, it's going to make you feel, this kind of feels like the yin to the yang kind of reading, um, but wherever this goes, I am going to pull for clarity, but it goes somewhere that is incredibly fair and legally, it, this is a legal karmic card, which represents if you do good in the eye of society, then good will come to you. If you do good things, if you show people that you are a good person, you do good things, those people are more willing to come to you and do good things to you because you are good to them. It's that kind of energy. It's also the kind of energy, <laughs> if I'm speaking legally, where it's like if you get into a car accident, you get out, you call the police, you do the report, you do all the fucking shit with the insurance, you don't speed off and you don't do a hit and run because that could lead you in jail. So if you do things, you know, the, the tried and true method of how society wants you to do things legally, um, you will also not be faulted for this. It's having the fear outcome to something. Now I'm going to dig a little bit because I'm still, I still am a little bit un I'm unclear, a little bit fuzzy on what this all means. So why is this coming out? Why is the Eight of Wands um, and the Queen of Wands being heralded in? And what is this fairness that's coming out? Basically, just can you just sum up why this is all happening. Oh yeah, this is a love reading. Okay, so it's the choice. It is the choice to have a relationship with this person. It is a large choice to be made in love. And I feel like um, for a lot of you, it might not be so much that it is... Um, this is going to be one of two things. It either is that you are going to be romantically choosing to commit to this person, um, or there might have been something in the past that was blocking this from coming in and you are now working together with this person to be fair 
and it doesn't necessarily have to be a committed romantic relationship. It could be, since I did get a legal card, it could for a lot of people be working together with um, their ex-husband or somebody that was a spouse or somebody's baby daddy. It represents, I feel like this person has already very clearly been in your life. I think things are becoming balanced and fair because you made a choice to work on them with this other person. Uh, but she would be coming to you. Whoever This person would be coming to you with this information. Uh, but it's going to be fair. It's going to be balanced. You're both doing this in, you know, a high mindset. But take it how it resonates. For some of you, it will be a committed romantic relationship or choosing to step back into it. And for others, it's going to be working together with somebody that you might, you might not be committed to now, but I think that you were in the past. But it, that's going to be for, like, two completely different people, two different sets of people. So take that how it resonates. Um, that was your reading, Scorpio. That is some good shit. This does represent working together, so this is pretty good. I don't see anything here to say that this is going to go awry. Uh, right now, it looks pretty solid. So this is good shit, and I love you, and I'll see you on the flip side. Peace out, my moon tribe. Bye.